This is Razer Basilisk X Hyperspeed. Came out in October 2022 and it's been selling around the price of $50 to $60. And I was lucky enough to find it on Amazon for $35 and I just bought it actually yesterday and it's already here. Yay, Amazon. This mouse has a 16,000 DPI optical sensor. It has the ability to connect directly via Bluetooth to your machine so you can use it on your MacBook or just connect the dongle that came in the box to the PC and your mouse should pair right away. This mouse has a really, really slick design. I mean, look at it. It's just so clean. I love these lines that go across the mouse at the top, the replacement of the DPI button, especially the sides. The sides are really, really nice. As you can see, there is this rubber material on the right and left side, which make it feel like you have really good grip on the mouse, which is very important, especially for FPS players. I do really, really like the thumb rest right here on the side. Uh, the one thing you got to keep in mind also when you're holding the mouse, if you have a big thumb like me, you might be tapping the macro buttons by mistake. The mouse weight comes at 106 grams, which is not bad for the price you're paying. It does not have any RGB on it at all. This mouse is battery powered that comes included in the box. You cannot charge it. There's no cables or connections in the front that comes with this mouse and it's rated for 450 hours, which is incredible. I like when a mouse feels light and it's still powered by battery because I do not have to charge it at the end of every time I'm gaming. On the bottom of the mouse, you're going to see there's a weird, weird design where there's bottom, right, top feet, but there's no left feet. So when you're sliding right, it's going to feel a little bit different than when you're sliding left, which is kind of annoying. And I don't understand why they would just not add an extra feet on the left side. That way it's all balanced and spread out properly. That is like the one thing that I can think of that I don't like about the bottom of this mouse. The mouse itself connects to the Razer Synapse, which allows you to actually customize the DPI button to whatever you want it to be. And you can just toggle and go between the DPI button all the way around. And the other thing, you can change the lift off distance on each click. So if you need a little more sensitive of a click, you can do that in the Razer Synapse app, which is really cool. When it comes to clicks on this mouse, it feels really, really nice and tactical. Have a listen for yourself. When it comes to using this mouse, using this mouse as your daily use, if you're editing videos or if you just you know, browsing the web or working, whatever. This mouse is great because of the grip and because of the thumb rest. It's going to be really, really comfortable, especially with the claw grip right here. It's going to feel really, really good for a long time to use for all day usage. When it comes to the glide, the mouse felt really, really nice on my mouse pads. I tried it on multiple mouse pads and all of them felt really, really soft. The glide was great and movement was just super easy and super smooth. But I think when it comes to gaming, you're going to enjoy using this mouse the most when you're playing story mode games or if you're playing Red Dead Redemption or just some sort of like dying light game. This mouse is going to be great at it more than if you just play FPS games. That is just my opinion because of the design, because of how it looks, and because it's a little bit heavier than other mice. One of the issues that's actually been reported on Amazon a lot that this mouse double clicks randomly or starts double clicking later on, especially the left click right here. So I'll be testing that here in a few months, see if that happens to me or not. In my opinion, this mouse is a great mouse. If you find it around $35 to $40, even $50, it's going to give you a great gaming experience. It's highly recommended even in 2022. But yeah, this was my opinion of the Razer Basilisk X Hyperspeed mouse. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, I'd appreciate it if you leave a like down below. And stay tuned, I'm gonna be comparing the Razer Basilisk X Hyperspeed to the Logitech G305, which is a mouse that sells around the same price range. Other than that, I'll see you next time. Bye.